on the previous episode. And we're not really going to send pressure, but we're going to get a shed from Cam Chancellor, and he's going to hit the quarterback he's trying to throw. And that's going to be it all for our opponent. So kind of a bounce back after starting 5-2 and two with 1DC. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, episode 26 of the No Money Spent. And we're finally going to get into our weekend league games. We are currently 9-2 and two on the road to back-to-back -to -back top 100s. And we're going to begin playing DJ916, I believe. In our first game, which was Sunday morning, I ended up having 18 games left. Well, actually, no, this is not our first game Sunday morning. In the last episode, we had our first, like, batch of four or three games. And I ended up playing having i believe like 15 or 14 games left i end up playing till late tonight this is also going to be the first of two uploads today so i want to get i can't really put 11 weekly games into one video so i kind of just want to divvy them up into five to six each but let's get into it our opponent it's a cover three beater on basically his first or second play of the game we're going to come down have a wheel route deep to the right george kittle that wheel route beat man covered surprisingly gonna tie up the game at seven now our opponent with the new vince young escape artist is looking he's gonna roll out right not really have anything tries to slide and brian dawkins lays the boom forced the fumble our cam chancer picks it up and just like that we are in business tied up at seven we did kick off so we get do get ball to start of the second half we're gonna hit the deuce close stretch to reggie bush so we can leave i was really prioritizing going into deuce close sometimes even coming out and gun bunch and audibling down into deuce close vince young gonna roll out right up perfect pass right over antro roll to jamar chase to put us up not put us up to tie the game at 14 you're gonna see i'm chewing the clock 59 seconds left in the first half we're gonna run it with reggie bush to go up seven and try to get a stop before we get the ball back to start the second half but vince young is gonna roll out right not really going to have anything. Hits the tight end delay to O.J. Howard and some missed tackles by Brian Dawkins. It's going to get him into the end zone. We do not score at the end of the first half. So our first drive in the second half, we're going to hit Reggie Bush on the out route, rack it up the field, and he's able to get in with that backfield master ability. So now up 28-21, one stop really ices the game. And finally, J.C. Horn in the hard flat, or my purples basically, that were at five yards able to take it for 6 28 21 now it's gonna be 35 to 21 and i think our opponent ends up either rage quitting here no he has one more play gonna roll up with vincent again try that crossing route over antro roll and antro roll finally is gonna say no and we're gonna move on to 10 and 2 19 wins really being the target for top 100 and also surprisingly last weekend actually did not count for monthly so this is the first week for the first i know it's the first week of september but i'm surprised they didn't count last week's wins towards monthlies but this is the first week for monthly so this is really important our opponent is going to come out and an errant pass from vince young and inaccurate i think he was pressured a little bit and i believe that is darrell revis is able to take it for six i do believe revis is probably still the best corner of the game and roll maybe being the second best but revis is just the best due to his bucks chem Chemistry, Jets chemistry is able to get that plus one speed, which is very important. Vince Young now again, we're going to send a little pressure and another very errant floated pass. And Antro Roll is going to get the interception. I really don't mind playing Vince Young. I'd rather have someone that roll out to kind of relying on broken plays than really a set organized offense with Daniel Jones. So I came up against a lot of Vince Youngs and most of the time, I think I didn't lose to Vince Young the whole weekend. But Daniel Jones now, we're in deuce close, third and four. Don't really have anything to go up and try to force it to Kyle Pitts on delay fade and we're gonna end up taking our three our opponent now vince young a deep corner route to jamar chase at the end of the first half is gonna bring it to 10 to 7 but not before we drive down and with six seconds left zero timeouts basically just trying to waste time here if i see something wide open i'll hit it but we're just gonna throw it away and honestly the throw away almost didn't get out in time but we're gonna take our three 13 to 7 we get ball to start the second half and in our first drive after taking a sack third and 20 nothing really open we're just gonna take it with daniel jones slide and make get a two possession game at the field goal 16 to 7 sending a little pressure now vince young has a deep post route terry mclaurin is gonna moss i believe that's jc horn and he's able now at the 12 yard line vince young again staying in the pocket hits the deep crossing route to terry mclaurin i believe what a drive for Terry after Mossing and now getting in the end zone. 16-14, we're able to drive down with swiftness and get into the end zone. But now 23-22, he ended up scoring. Kind of trying to 
make these games shorter. Fourth and one now, game on the line. A first down wins it. He runs man coverage for basically the first time all game and a misalignment. George Kittle on the flat route is able to bring us to 11 and 2. I believe, but going to this game against Merckston now, the third game of five games in this episode. Hold up, I need to see the record. Yes, we are 11-2 and two going to this game, so one win away from basically getting to where we were le last weekend at 12-2. and two. Our opponent is going to drive down a little very high IQ motion streak with Devontae Smith able to get into the end zone. He's going to go for two, roll it right, and he had the guy open, just threw it a little late, Antrel roll, able to get the interception. So we're only down six. We're going to drive down. We did chew clock. You see only one minute left in the second half. I believe our opponent also chewed a lot of clock. We're going to get to the end zone. Go up 7-6. With a minute left, our opponent now only 11 seconds on the 50. He has all three timeouts. Not really good clock management from him. Third and two. And he hits the deepest corner out of all time to Brandon Marshall to be able to go up 9-7. to seven. Our first drive out of the second half. We get stuck in a third and five, and I really should have just passed the ball. I tried a quick hike run it. We're just going to take our three, 10 to nine. And now our opponent is going to again drive down, hit the kind of a backside post route with Lance Allworth. He's going to go for two to try to make it a seven point game. He's going to come with the same action. I man up the slot receiver. But again, I don't really cover the out route, and he throws it on time. An antral roll. I wanted Acrobat to make a play there, but not able to. Down seven, money drive, 147 left. Third and four, Daniel Jones hits Reggie Bush, or not Reggie Bush, Devin Hester, the double double post. He's able to break a tackle and get out of bounds with 138 left. I only have one timeout. Fourth and inches now, a bad spot on the placement. Honestly, that was a really bad read. He had his, must have had his curl flats at zero yards and able to hit Kittle for the first down, extending the drive. And now 10 seconds left, first and 10. We're able to get into the end zone and I make the call for good to go for two. And if you look, I had Reggie Bush wide open. I just didn't even look at him. I was basically looking at the flat curl concept on the right. And that's going to give us our first loss of the day. 11 and 3 now. Hopping in to play slash on top. Doesn't have the best of teams with JC Jackson in his top three. We're three weeks into the game. We're going to come out on offense though. Don't really have anything open. I'm going to playmaker up the field. And I don't really know if I made that, if that's a bad read or not. Daniel Jones kind of lets the ball go a little bit too far. And he's able to get an interception. And on his first play, he's able to just hit a crossing route with Allworth. I. I've lost full. I try to go for the hit stick. I miss it after losing last game. I'm kind of on edge. I'm, I'm top 100 is slipping away. Third and two now, though. I'm gonna step in the pocket with Daniel Jones, and we're gonna strike back, make it seven to seven. Now second and ten, our opponent is able to drive down on the 20 yard line. We don't get ball half, you remember? And Brian Dawkins, I put him in a yellow zone instead of a purple because they were not running flat to the left. And he's able to make the interception. Not only that, take it for six. And now we're up 14-7. But this game really is still not my control. Our opponent can score and then score at the beginning of the second half. And we're down 7. Josh Allen is going to roll out. And we're going to take the sack. Call a timeout. 3rd and 21 now, Josh Allen. Nothing really open. And another incomplete pass. We get to keep our timeout. So it's 14-10. And we're able to possibly still get points. Running double post. Have the post route open. That's going to be Joey Galloway. I try to take it for 6. But we're able to get out of bounds. So we, and we still have one timeout. We're looking for 6 here. Four seconds left. I'm rolling out with Daniel Jones, and I'm just going to take Reggie Bush with me, and we are going to run in a walk-off touchdown to bring it 21-10, and our opponent has had enough. A good bounce-back game after starting out slow, 12-3, and and we're going to play Nathan Menace again in Gillette Stadium. Again, not the best team with TJ Hawkinson as one of his top three, so he doesn't have many abilities on his defense as the top three would show. We're going to come out second and nine, and a lurk from hell with Ed Reed. We undercut the flat route, take it for six, and we are playing some great defensive football. Really the only loss, I had a two-point version wide open. I'm not able to get it. Now our opponent is going to drive down on third and goal. He's going to go to the QB sneak, not get it. No huddle, and we're going to do the same type of defense. And really, I thought he got in. But Daniel Jones is going to be stuffed at the one. And we're going to go on a long, methodical 99-yard drive. Third and one, he gets a great tackle with a Muttmaster Cam Chancellor. We're going to have to take our three and settle. Now our opponent is going to hit a deep corner out. And Jarrell Revis, the best corner in the game, is able to get the interception, get his feet down. And with 10 seconds left, I don't really know what he was doing. We hit a deep wheel route. Absolute 
time by Daniel Jones to Joey Galloway. And we end up going up 17-0 at half. We end up scoring again to start the second half. And an interception for six from Darrell Revis is going to be the end of this game, winning 31 to nothing. We are 13 and three on the road to top 100. It's looking good. But this is gonna be part one of the video. If you enjoy the daily content, don't forget to subscribe and like. Part two will be up in a couple of hours. And until next time, peace.